have no fear. Count Drickler's here. My guy Mike. Dr. Carol Goodkirk. I've got uh, what appears to be a very, very wonky gun in my hand right here. I love it. Yeah, so this is the Silencer Co. Maxim. Mm. Right? Uh, what I refer to as the Judge Dread gun. Judge Dread. Or Judge Dread. But this one, it looks like it should, like, you know, fire like a, a web out the front. Right. Like, this would be like Batman's gun. Most of them, yeah, yeah, like this one. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, like this one. Yeah. So, but unfortunately, instead of thousands of uh, feet of rope under here, okay. what I've got is this is an intricately suppressed firearm. So it comes like this. It comes like this. So it comes with a suppressor already in it. So just a quick word about suppressors. Okay, break it down. Um, so the 1934 National Firearms Act uh, was passed kind of to uh, make it more difficult for people like John Dillinger, Bonnie and Clyde to be able to get machine guns. Right. You got to remember back in the day, you just walk into the hardware store and said, "Oh, that Tommy gun, I'll take two of those." Yeah, right? Two of them. Okay, right? So <laughs> they made this National Firearms Act which made it uh, more difficult to get fully automatic weapons. There's also short barrel rifles, short barrel shotguns. And then the day before the bill went into place, they also added hunting. Uh, they also added silencers to it wow. to prevent poaching. Wow. Uh, really kind of a dumb act where we've been living under that same, same rule, oh, right? Same, 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 yeah, so it's the same rivers we live through right now. Right? Right. But at the time, that $200 tax stamp was really a huge hurdle to jump. No question. Now it's pretty easy to pay two hundred. Yeah. But again, I do want to point out, the Firearms Act said you got to make two hundred extra dollars to get this. Right. So again, who is that act aimed at again exactly? At the back. Well, no, it's aimed because they can get two hundred bucks if I rob. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's a regular for this. Yeah, year. it's the regular civilians, and it was and it was people who were poor. Right. Keep that in mind. Every Firearms Act that you see, look underneath it and see it who it's it. actually who it's actually funding. The poor. You bet. Go on a rampage, go on a coup. Right. right. Yeah. Makes sense. So, uh, all right. So we've got the Silencer Co. Maxim. Now, Silencer Co. makes a lot of silencers, mm -hmm. thus their name, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. their name, right? Right. But they came out with this gun, so you have an integrally suppressed weapon. And the idea behind this is that you can create posters for it pretty easily. Right. And while it would be a big gun to carry, you could carry it, particularly as a duty gun. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, this has not been a runaway commercial success of for Silencer Co. Because it is bulky and it's still difficult to get. Right. But in my opinion, this is the future of guns. Most definitely. Right? I, mean, I think they had it in Judge Dre. Right. Well, I don't think they had this one. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that the future of firearms is going to be that integrally suppressed gun, right? Yes. And I think we're buying guns 10 years from now, they'll all have some kind of silencer attached to them, or the ammo's going to become quieter because, quite frankly, we don't, you know, it's still loud enough, right? We'll shoot it with ears off and, and you'll get an idea that it's okay, loud. We'll try it out. Yeah, but it's not so loud that you lose your hearing. And if we're gonna have weapons for defensive purposes, and even sporting purposes, why do we need the gun so to be loud. so loud, right? If right. we can bring that down and protect our ear. It makes sense to me. Uh, I can certainly, I'd love to see it in place, right. uh, particularly for our soldiers out in the field. Most definitely. Uh, you know, I mean, so many of us who served have have hearing, hearing damage and hearing loss. Especially in close combat, right? Like you just really letting it off. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, and so plus you gotta be able to hear your people, so you use right. it as a double-edged sword. Yeah, and that's a big thing. And you know, we talked about this on the other uh, suppressor guns that we're right. talking about today. You know, if you had to use this, if you had to use a weapon, God forbid, right? In a defensive situation, right. you're firing from inside a vehicle because somebody's trying to get in your car, somebody's exactly. trying to in your house or something loud indoors firing guns. It's crazy loud, it's much louder than outside. Yeah, way louder. You'll lose your hearing, and then you have to deal with law enforcement, and you're doing that when you can't hear. Yeah, so you can't hear, you already, you already shell shot somebody trying right. to harm you, especially that love you to use a gun, so your mind yeah. is going a million miles a minute. Exactly. And if you can't hear, shit, you don't know what's gonna happen. Right, and yeah. so it's, it's very, very dangerous. So obviously the more guns we have suppressed, the safer it'll be. Sounds better to yeah. so, Way better. I, so can, are you, can you just simply gotta have a tax that you can get with it? Yeah, so if you buy one of these, you have to buy one of these, it's just like a silencer. Now okay. here at Stock and Barrel, we take care of all that for you. Oh, so you come in, we help you fill out your paperwork, we do your pictures, we do your fingerprints, everything. We help you put everything together. The only thing we can help you with is the wait period. Right. Right? Because the uh, the ATF has to look through your paperwork. Wow. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives 
sounds like a funner place to work than it actually is. For most of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they, you, they have to come back and send you a tax. Wow. And that can take them anywhere from six months, and I've seen them take as long as 14 months. So, um, again, the background check they're doing really isn't any more thorough than what you do for purchasing any firearm, right. but it's the federal government, so it does it take them time. 20 times longer. Yes, do that on purpose. But, well, there you go. If you want to learn how to get one of these, come to Stock and Barrel Gun Club and check it out, man. They can handle all that stuff for you, man. There you go. We're done. There you go. All right, so it's time to shoot this magnificent piece of machinery here. Got my guy, Mike, here. Yep, so we're going to load up the Silence Co. Maxim. Ooh. This was, uh, as we talked about, one of the first intricately suppressed handguns made. That looked like the gun RoboCop got. Yeah, basically it does look like RoboCop <laughs> yeah. from Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. Like Judge Dredd. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Like Judge Dredd. Yep. So let's go ahead and, and uh, give that one a shot. All right. All right. Come on, man. I'm looking real substantial. Pull that head back. How's that feel? A little different, right? A little different. It bumps too. Yeah, a little different recoil impulse. Right. It's more of a push than a snap, yeah. but yeah, it pushes it's more back. Of a push you, like, right? Yeah. All it's, right. It's so take steady. one more shot here. All right. Go for the dome. There we go. Right certainly, certainly accurate enough, right? Oh, yeah, look at All that. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's right Soft there. Shooter. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ears off. All right. So go ahead and pop your ears off. Now right. again. We're shooting supersonic rounds, supersonic. so we could make this a little bit quieter by doing subsonics. Okay. But we're going to shoot some supersonic rounds nice. through that gun with the ears off. And think about, again, if we have to use this for a home defense tool, Got to protect right? Yourself. It's going to be somewhat loud, but we should be hearing safe. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay. All right. I had to let them have it that time. There you go. So now that's with your ears off. Right. I missed right? one time. And obviously, really good shooting. This uh -huh. one, we went for the yep. head shot was Always. right there. Now, how did that feel? How did your ears feel? It was like, first it was cool. Then, like, the more I went, I felt a little snap yep. a little bit. But it yep. wasn't too bad, though. But we're still able to communicate. Most we know ringing in the no ears, right? Yeah. yeah. So, again, if we had to use this for home defense, oh, yeah, we we'd be able to communicate with law enforcement. We'd be able to communicate with anybody else in the house. Most definitely. I think that's a, a nice piece of craftsmanship right there. Yeah. So, you'd be able to defend yourself and also be ready for all adversaries. And then, you know, communicate with the authorities because that's very important, too. You bet. You don't want to get your ass hurt or have the, you know what I'm saying, go to court for killing a cop or some dumb shit like that. So, yep. that comes in handy for sure. Perfect. Legendary. Right. Now, I'm feeling organic as ever. Just trying to live my life. You know what I'm saying? It's all about memories and legacies, man. Right now, you get your memories. When you die, you leave a legacy. That's what it's all about, man. What's that? Let me show Believe in yourself. Work hard. You can do this, too. You understand me? See, one thing you got to do is believe in yourself. Second thing you got to do is work hard. And last thing is never give up. Why would you give up when you can go up? You can glow up. Be like Mr. Organic, man. I started at the seed. I got the roots. Now I'm the tree. And I'm enjoying my fruits, man. And what's the fruit? Big Leader Jets. <laughs> Big jury, <laughs> uh, Corvettes, everything. You know why? Because I work hard and I believe my motherfucking self and I kept it here from the start. Uh. Uh, what motherfucker you know on the jet? Mr. Motherfucker on the jet. You hear me? Look at the wall. Uh, look at the jet with the spins and the feet. You hear me? Don't sit down on that. Uh, look at the feet. Nothing but the good life. Keep Man. going. Keep listen. Keep on going. Keep on growing. Keep Believe in yourself. Good. Be yourself too. Don't follow nobody. Don't follow your soul. Follow your heart. Make your dream. If, if you listen to Mr. Organic, like what I do, just know I did this by being me. So you do you. That's it. You don't gotta do. You don't gotta do nothing you don't wanna do no more in life, man. You, got, you, you can learn everything you wanna learn today on that YouTube, on that Instagram. Use it to your advantage. Just keep on going. You're gonna keep on growing. That's a fact. Okay, let's go sit here. Fuck that, I'm gonna try to get home shit and fight the little water, boop. Keep on going, baby. <laughs> 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 <laughs>